newly surfaced photos reveal a U.S. Navy F-A-18E, or F Super Hornet, equipped with what appears to be an air-launched variant of the highly versatile SM-6 missile. This combination of the Super Hornet and SM-6 was observed three years ago, but has never been officially confirmed by the U.S. Navy. This is an intriguing development. In this video, we analyze why the F-A-18E or F Super Hornet armed with the SM-6 missile is a significant advantage for the U.S. Navy. Let's get started. The RIM-174 Standard Extended Range Active Missile, ERAM, or Standard Missile 6, SM-6, has been deployed primarily by the U.S. Navy to counter various threats. It is a combat-proven missile developed by Raytheon, mainly intended to be launched from MK-41 vertical launch system cells on U.S. Navy warships like the Arleigh Burke class. It was designed for Extended Range Anti-Air Warfare, ERAAW, providing capability against fixed and rotary wing aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, anti-ship cruise missiles in flight over both sea and land, and terminal ballistic missile defense. The SM-6 can also be used to strike high-priority ground targets such as air defense sites and warships, acting as a quasi-ballistic missile. The missile uses the airframe of the earlier SM-2ER Block 4, RIM-156A, and incorporates some targeting elements from the AIM-120C AMRAAM. It can discriminate targets using its dual-mode seeker, with the semi-active seeker relying on a ship-based illuminator to highlight the target and the active seeker emitting its own electromagnetic signal. The SM-6 has a maximum speed of Mach 3.5, a maximum range of 460 km, and a 64 kg blast fragmentation warhead. There are two variants, Block 1 and Block 1A, currently in service, with a third version, Block 1B, in development. The U.S. Navy and the Missile Defense Agency have conducted several tests to demonstrate the missile's effectiveness against ballistic missiles in the terminal phase. The Boeing F-A-18E and F-A-18F Super Hornet are a series of American supersonic twin-engine, carrier-capable, multi-role fighter aircraft derived from the McDonnell Douglas F-A-18 Hornet. They are in service with the armed forces of the U.S., Australia, and Kuwait. The FA-18E single-seat and FA-18F tandem-seat variants are larger and more advanced versions of the FA-18C and D Hornet, respectively. The Super Hornet carries 33% more internal fuel, increasing mission range by 41% and endurance by 50% over the earlier Hornet models. They have a payload capacity of 7,700 kg. The Super Hornet is equipped with an internal 20mm M61A2 rotary cannon, and can carry air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-surface missiles, and a variety of other weapons. Additional fuel can be carried in up to five external fuel tanks, and the aircraft can be configured as an airborne tanker by adding an external air-to-air -air refueling system. All U.S. Navy supercarriers are equipped with Super Hornets. The SM-6 missile uses an X-band receiver for guidance, which could be provided by the FA-18E or FAN-APG-79 radar. The U.S. Navy faces credible threats from near-peer rivals. The PLA Air Force has introduced new long-range air-to-air weapons, such as the PL-15 and PL-17, which outrange existing U.S. Navy air-to-air -air weapons. Additionally, the U.S. Navy Carrier Strike Force faces risks from potent anti-ship missiles, including the DF-21D and DF-26. The Dongfeng-21D, an anti-ship variant of the DF-21, is a two-stage, solid-fueled, single-warhead, medium-range ballistic missile, MRBM, with a speed of around Mach 10, a maximum range of approximately 1,700 km, and a 600 kg warhead. The DF-26 has a range of 4,000 km and is believed to be capable of precision nuclear or conventional strikes with an accuracy of 100 men or sep. Additionally, there is the DFZF hypersonic glide vehicle, the DFZF hypersonic glide vehicle is launched to extremely high altitudes using the DF-17 missile. It skips across the Earth's upper atmosphere and then glides back down, reaching hypersonic speeds of more than Mach 5. Russia has also deployed hypersonic anti-ship missiles such as the Kinjal and Zircon. Additionally, 
Air defense systems like the Russian S-400 and Chinese HQ-9 SAM make it challenging to take out high-value enemy assets. The Super Hornet is a proven aircraft, highly optimized to operate from American supercarriers. The SM-6 is a remarkable asset, since it is a dual-purpose missile that can be used both offensively and defensively. The Super Hornet's ability to operate far forward, with its effective combat range limited only by aerial refueling availability and enemy defenses, could make the air-launched SM-6 a powerful force multiplier. This combination extends the reach of the weapon by hundreds of miles beyond what any ship or ground launcher can achieve. The ability of Super Hornets to extend the defensive and offensive range of a naval task force beyond the limits of the surface-launched SM-6 would be a significant advantage. The SM-6 is already a networked weapon, capable of receiving targeting information from third-party sources, which greatly increases its potential applications. The missile's high velocity and quasi-ballistic trajectory make it difficult to defend against and launching from aircraft, which can approach from unpredictable directions compared to warships, complicates enemy defenses even further. Since the SM-6 was originally not designed for air launch, significant modifications would be needed. This is not a simple task, and the stress of launching this missile from the airframe of the Super Hornets will need to be thoroughly assessed. While it remains uncertain if SM-6 armed Super Hornets will become operational, equipping these fighters and potentially other combat aircraft with this weapon would be a strategically sound move. 